The front page of The Sun today gave you the heartbreaking news that Dame Barbara Windsor, best known for her appearances in the Carry On films and for playing Peggy Mitchell on EastEnders, has Alzheimer's disease. The Sun columnist Jane Moore interviewed Scott Windsor, Dame Barbara's husband, who confirmed that she was diagnosed four years ago. And Jane joins us now. Jane, good afternoon to you. You're all very sad, this. Um, it, it is, Eamon, yeah. What, what about the timing of this? Why did Scott, you know Scott and Barbara, yeah. uh, why did he decide to speak now? Um, it's been a long time coming, to be honest. Uh, the diagnosis was four years ago, and um, a close circle of friends, in, including myself, knew, um, and people like David Walliams and Christopher Biggins, uh, Paul O'Grady, they're all people that Barbara sort of socialises with. That we all knew, but the symptoms were very mild in the, in the early days, so um, life went on, really. And Barbara, to a certain extent herself, was in denial because I think sometimes it's easier that way to, to deal with. Um, and Scott wanted to protect her. Uh, he didn't want Alzheimer's to define her at that point because, as I say, the, the, the symptoms were very mild. Um, so on we trotted for... a several years and then um last week completely out of the blue he just rang me and said i don't think i can protect her anymore um because the uh, symptoms have worsened and there's nothing more that barbara likes than going out and about and meeting the public um and scott was living in fear of somebody noticing something um and he wanted them to put the the news and the story out there in a controlled manner rather than it you know, come out through other means. Um, so he decided to go on the record. Is she aware that he's made this revelation? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> she she and he discussed it. it one of the questions, uh, one of the symptoms of Alzheimer's is repetitiveness. And one of Barbara's repeat, repetitive questions is, do the public know I'm ill? Um, and she was very concerned about that. So for the last week, Scott's been saying to her, they don't, Barbara, but we, uh, you know, we're going to talk to Jane, and next week they will know. So when you go out, you know, everyone will understand. So, yeah, she was very much in on the decision. When he and I did the interview, he said, look, if she forgets that she's given me her blessing, I, I will yeah. just have to deal with that. But this is, I know this is what I have to do. I spoke to them this morning, and she's having a good day today, uh, and she's fully aware of the fact that the news is out there. She's been watching, she's a right news junkie anyway, so she's been watching all of the TV shows, reading all the papers, and she's been absolutely thrilled by the response from the media and from the public because it's been, you know, 100% positive. Yeah, positive. Yeah. positive. Yeah. Uh, Jane, um, obviously our friend Ruth talks, has talked about her dad yeah. and when he had Alzheimer's. And one of the things that I remember Ruth saying on Loose Women was, you know, when when they actually got the diagnosis, it made sense for the family because it's like, oh, that's the reason they were doing yeah. that. That's a, And is this the reason why you think um, Scott has come out to kind of sort of say, you know, this there is a reason. It's not because of old age or whatever, you know, she's getting elderly, but it's, there is a diagnosis here. No, I, I think it's mainly because of the confusion. And, mm. um, you know, there are, as anyone who, who knows anyone with Alzheimer's, there are sometimes great pockets of confusion. Mm. He can no longer leave her in the house on her own right. because she panics and wonders what's happening. Um, so it, it just became... It, it was a bit like living in, you know, in a pressure cooker. Yeah. Um, and he just wants her to be able to leave the house. He said she completely comes alive when the public talk to her. And I don't know if you've ever tried to walk anywhere with Barbara Windsor, but mm -hmm. it's completely hopeless. But yeah. she is, she's, a, yeah. national yeah, she's, she's a national treasure. She's a national institution. She wants to talk to them. Um, but, but you know, but that, that's a gift. And he that, doesn't want that to stop, but he wants the public to know. Yes, yes. if it does, that's yeah. what, it, what it's about. Yeah. If there's um, something strange about her behaviour, this is why. Mm. Do, you know, do you know what's strange about her behaviour? Um, that she's actually a very pleasant, bubbly, effervescent celebrity yes. because so many yeah. aren't. Yes. And, and, and last year, uh, there was an audience with Joan Collins at the uh, London Palladium mm. and Barbara 
sat beside me. So mm. it was her and I together. Well, Jane, I laughed the whole way I know, through. It's brilliant. It. She has stories. She has asides. Yep. I've always, I remember when I came over from Ireland and I, and I started doing telly work here. And she was one of those big institutions, big stars that you thought, oh, my goodness, what's she yeah. going to be like? And I can honestly say, always, 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 always delightful, yeah. Yeah. friendly, down well, to She's earth. been fantastic to the media over the years. You know, she's taken a lot of knocks, Barbara, and she dusts herself up, off, get, gets up, never blames the journalist. She says, you know, they've got a job to do, I've got a job to do. And, and actually, the press adore her yes um you know they really do and and i think that's part and parcel of the, the reception it's because she's real today. jane i just feel like you know for me watching her on telly she was she's real and you feel like she's your best friend um, yeah. even if you haven't met her mm. um which which is absolutely fantastic but um but do you think what is going to happen next in terms of the diagnosis? I don't know if they've shared this with you, mm. but is it is it going to be a slow thing that happens over time or or is this quite an aggressive form of Alzheimer's? Well, what, what happens with Alzheimer's and, and, you know, the other strange thing about it is that no two cases are the same. But the, what happens is you get a diagnosis, you, you, you know, and obviously you've had that diagnosis because you have been experiencing symptoms, mm. which is why you end up at the neurologist in the first place. Um, and it and it can be very stable for mm. two or three years, which is what's happened with Barbara. And then they have what they call storms, mm. where suddenly the behaviour will markedly deteriorate, which is what has happened in the last couple of weeks. Um, but then it can stay stable at that point again for another two or three years. Mm. And you, you really don't know no, yeah. what is going to come. But, you know, it, it's re I can't emphasise enough... Yes, it's hard on Barbara, but how hard it is on Scott. Yes, yes, um, yes who's because, very you know, protective and loving. We author. have another part going in the paper tomorrow. Yeah, um, which is all about their day-to-day -day life, and that is even more poignant because you know she's starting to sort of not remember that they're married, mm. and that's very, very. You know, they've been together for 25 years, yes. and this is a man who. He's a lot younger than her, and when they got together, everyone was like, oh, gold digger. Mm. What they didn't know that was that at the time, Barbara was in debt, severely in debt, and about to lose her house, and they were about to move into Scott's flat. But boy, has this man proved yeah. that he loves his wife. Mm. Well, the nation loves her as well. And, Jane, in your article today, um, you give some insight as to why the role of, of Peggy Mitchell and how the role of Peggy Mitchell in EastEnders came to an end. Talk, yes. talk, to, to talk us through that. Yeah, well, it was um, uh, so around 2012. So she hadn't been diagnosed at this point, but Scott knew that there was some issue with her memory and behaviour. Um, so he went to the then producer, who was called uh, Dominic Treadwell Collins, uh, and said, look, and, and Barbara was there as well. It was Barbara's idea. Um, let's kill off Peggy Mitchell. And Dominic said, I, I'm not going to be mm -hmm. the producer that kills off such mm -hmm. an iconic character. Mm -hmm. So Scott went to see him privately, and he didn't bring him up to speed um, completely, but he just looked at him and said, look, Barbara's struggling with her memory. She will not be back. Right. Let's do this. Uh -huh. So they did it. Um, they arranged for her to... There were very intense scenes. Um, they arranged for her to have an autocue, just in case. But she actually, in the end, didn't use the autocue at all. And as Scott said, he said they were some of the best acting that she's ever done. Mm. Mm, it's incredible. It's, it just you talking about that just just gives me goosebumps because mm. I remember those scenes, Jane, and she was phenomenal. Yeah, it was, it was the right thing to do. It yes, was a dignified yes, way to yeah. bring it all to yeah. to a close and reach yes, the stage no, where absolutely. we're at. Jane, and today she's not going to be doing any more yeah. acting, and she's not going to be doing any more. I mean, she's a huge, uh, hugely charitable. She does so much work for charity, which is you know mainly why she got the damehood. Um, yeah. But she's not going to do charity events anymore because, you know, she's 80 years old anyway. So quite apart from having this very cruel illness, she deserves a rest, yes, I think. Yes, yeah. absolutely. But, you know, what she wants to do is to leave her house, walk out and about, go out for dinner. And if there is a situation, 
that everyone will understand, understand. why. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Jane, well, you did an interview on this morning and um, there's been a bit of a backlash as to the way that people are talking about um, Barbara Windsor, sort of using the past tense. What's your comeback on that? Um, I don't think I used the past tense. No. No, it wasn't you. It was just sort of other well, people, you know, people around people it. People need to grow up. I mean, yeah. what? So, what were they the same with Alex Ferguson on Saturday night as well? Yeah, it's it's just if anybody did do that, it's just a, it's not. I don't think it's. They're it's, looking for malice know, when, when there is like, none intended. Yeah. Show, yeah, you know, it's it's. And well, you're, you're actually just talking about things that have happened in the past. That's yes, all. that's yeah. why you use a past. The historical tense, tense. and yeah. also they don't know the situation. You do. Yeah. You do. You're there. You're close up and personal with both Barbara yeah. and Scott. But let me tell you, she is, you know, alive and kicking. Yeah. She's yeah. recently had a heart scan and it's pumping away like you would not believe. And, um, you know, long may she go on. But Absolutely. it'll just be in a different way um, that, that, that she can go out and... Boy, does she love the general public. Mm. So, you and know, they, and they, they love her. her. So great. Jane, really Thanks, appreciate Jane. your time today. And um, and, and uh, we look forward to uh, reading more tomorrow in, uh, in the Sun newspaper from you. That's Sun columnist Jane Moore who broke that story about Barbara Windsor and Alzheimer's today. 